Did you know that they were advertising for all this, this camp staff uh, for, this, uh, for this facility? Well, it's quite interesting, isn't it? I had a conversation with the Home Office officials a few weeks ago, and they and I was saying how, you know, board and uh, these uh, asylum seekers would be on the site, been there for six months in a small village like Linton News, and they said, um, "No, you got this all wrong, Kevin. You don't understand. Um, it's a wonderful site they're moving to, and on that site there are, there are they'll be kept busy all day. There are a hundred different species of tree on the site, so." Um, mm. I, I think the Home Office is kind of pretty, pretty far the mark in terms of understanding the, the what will happen when these 1,500 young single men move into the centre of a small rural village in North Yorkshire and will be bored out of their minds most of the time and will look for other things to do. And that's a real concern for many people in Linton on Ouse. Clearly, most of these people will be law-abiding, decent people, but some won't, and that's a real worry to these residents. And the Home Office effectively is making the village the sacrificial lambs for a national policy. It's absolutely wrong and I will oppose it uh, with every breath in my body. What is the mood in the village these days? It was not happy uh, when Mark White uh, from GB News went up there and, uh, and talked to villagers. How, how They presumably were relieved at the temporary reprieve. How are they feeling when they hear about these activities coordinators uh, treating this place as a kind of summer camp? Well, the village is panic-stricken. You know, they, they really are. I've had uh, everybody from uh, elderly residents through to, you know, young uh, girls, nine, ten-year-old, come to me and say how worried they are about this. This is going to destroy their lives, there's no doubt about it. It takes away their freedoms, their liberties, <coughs> it changes life forever in Linton News. Um, it is, it, all those freedoms are taken away from people and house prices will plummet. The whole, the whole village is ruined as a result of this. These are non-detained people in the centre of a village. Um, it's just unthinkable that anybody would think of doing this in such a location. And the, the vast majority of people I've spoken to, be it, uh, be it parliamentarians, be it the local authority, be it the police, be it indeed the refugee agencies, agree with that position. It's simply wrong. The Home Office must reconsider, cannot really sacrifice the lives, the freedoms of 600 people in that village in North Yorkshire. It's simply wrong. I, I cannot believe the Home Office is considering, considering doing this.